Hi guys, I'm Shaina and welcome back to Flakbex channel and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco Season A. If you're new to our channel and if you just found this video somewhere, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I posted a new video. What is up guys? I'm happy to let you know that I am now on 56% progress on my review and currently I'm on section 25 of our course which is all about spanning tree protocol and I think this is the last topic about protocols and after that there's no more um, section that covers mostly about protocols so section 25 that is the spanning tree protocol and I think this is gonna be the last protocol so far while reviewing i met different protocols i met a lot of protocols and it's very new to my ears this is very unfamiliar for me this is the first time that i've heard those protocols since there's so many protocols on our reviewer and you might probably met some of them so that's why i made this video to share with you the summary of the protocols that i've learned so guys you might be on a different program or you might be on a different boot camp and you might have a different resources and you are wondering if we have the same reviewer if we covered the same topics so that's why i made this video and i hope this video will be helpful especially to my colleagues out there so you'll be able to know the protocols that i've learned from the reviewer that I have okay so this is how it goes I met the routing terminologies and routing protocols on the section 16 of my course which is all about um, routing fundamentals section 16 routing fundamentals is the start of my journey in reviewing for the routing protocols and I really overwhelmed with so many terminologies but before that on section 14 i already met some protocols that's gonna be cdp and lldp i met those protocols which stands for cisco discovery protocol link layer discovery protocol and here are some of the common terminologies that i met from reviewing we have like local routes static routes default routes summary routes on your reviewer guys um can you share with me on the comment section if you also met these terminologies if you heard them guys we are on the same page what are the protocols that i've learned so far section 16 routing fundamentals is the start of my journey and then after that on section 17 it's all about dynamic routing protocols i've learned terminologies like the different routing protocol types and what are the difference of dynamic routing protocols and static routes we have a routing table and we have the different routing protocol types guys we have interior gateway protocols, IGP, exterior gateway protocols, EGPs, and you will also heard about border gateway protocols, BGP. I also met terminologies like distance vector routing protocols and link state routing protocols. We also have here some kind of chart which shows the um routing protocol types we have igp and egp and what are the igp protocols and what are the egp protocols so i also met uh different terminologies like ospf open shortest path first eigrp enhanced interior gateway routing protocols isis intermediate system and rip of course rip routing information protocol and i hope guys you also met the uh, routing protocol matrix 
because a router may receive multiple possible paths to get to a destination network so we have this kind of metric to select the best path for them heard about um terminal just like distance vector routers link state routers and then we have the hop count and cost on ospf there's a lot of terminologies there on ospf topic and how does they choose a routing protocol so it also covers how they will select if they will use rip eigrp ospf or isis you will also met the equal cost multipath or ecmp and i also met terms like ad or administrative distance and they have the route score from 0 1 20 90 110 115 120 on different types of routing protocols there's a corresponding default administrative distance and then we have a difference of ad and metrics we also cover the floating static routes and loopback interfaces which are the uh, logical interfaces and what are the uses of loopback interface and of course you will hear about adjacencies so if you heard those terminologies guys that i've mentioned so far we are on the same page and then you will hear also about passive interfaces physical interfaces and there's a lot on basic connectivity troubleshooting and then uh, it also covered on my review were the igp fundamentals and we have the manual summarization and the characteristic of eigrp which is a advanced distance vector routing protocol and also as i mentioned before the ospf or open shortest path first covered a great part on my reviewer there's also a lot of terminologies there and we have also a topic uh, uh, the differences of ospf eigrp and rip you will also hear about link state routing protocols and the uh, operations of ospf and then we have the ospf packet types we have the hello lsu link state update link state advertisement link state request database description and of course you configure the router you using the um, ospf yes and you will hear about ospf router id and passive interface and we also covered the bandwidth clock rate and speed what are the difference of those the speed clock rate and bandwidth we also have reference bandwidth we also covered that and how we will manipulate the ospf metric and we have the uh, ospf metric cost ospf adjacencies and the hello packet contents there's a lot of terminologies on ospf topic guys there's so many many to mention we have areas and backbone routers internal routes abr or area border routers we have manual summarization and i'm just mentioning guys terminologies if you want to learn more about those you can download our resources and you can check our course on our website on flackbacks.com and you can see all of the topics on the course i am enrolled just go to our website on flackbacks.com and after my journey in reviewing for the ospf i went to the vlan's journey on section 21 virtual local area network so i've learned the access distribution and core layers the spine leaf network design and a typical campus design guys we also covered that on the vlans and why we have vlans and how it was being configured on our switches and the router operation switch operations there's a lot of terminologies here and a lot of cisco ios commands and then we heard about vlan trunk ports dot one q trunks there's also so many many terminologies here 
native VLAN and the verification. And after the journey of my VLAN review, it's gonna be the section 22, which is inter VLAN routing. And after the inter VLAN routing, we have the section 23 all about THCP or dynamic host configuration protocol. I know we are very familiar with that kind of protocol guys by the way on vlan i also met the uh, protocol uh, of vlan trunking protocol or vtp and a different vtp modes vtp server vtp client vtp transparent okay the hcp and benefits of the hcp and and how we will configure the dhcp guys and after the dhcp topic um it's gonna be the section 24 which is all about hot standby router protocols you will hear terminal just like network redundancy fhrp first hop redundancy protocols and we have hsrp or hot standby routing protocols and then we have hsrp operations and of course configuration guys we always have uh, how we will configure it on the device and the advanced topics and then after the hsrp i am now on section 25 of our course which is spanning tree protocol stp and i'm very excited to finish this topic right now i'm almost half of the review of the spanning tree protocol and after this topic guys it's gonna be another topic um ether channel switch security so i scan the topics guys and i don't see any parts that covers uh that covers protocols a lot so that's why i decided to do a summary of the protocols and some of the terminologies that i've heard from reviewing the protocols so far so i hope this video will somehow helps you to know that we are on the same page and if you have other suggestion for me or any other suggested reviewer you can leave a comment on the comment section feel free to leave a comment on the comment section and maybe guys you can follow me on my linkedin account so we will be connected with each other you'll be updated on my vlogs and on the current topics where i am guys again if you want to learn about our curriculum you can always go to our website on learn.flagbacks.com or flagbacks.com and guys please also don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms all the links to our social media are on the description below make sure to check that out and also feel free to download the lab exercise guide for free the link to that is also on the description below the lab exercises guide is the most rated lab exercises that you can found on the website or on the internet world so i suggest to take advantage of it and what else that i want to say is see you on my next videos